So dear Bhante, could you give us the three refugees and the five or eight virtues, please? Let's begin with Namo Tassa. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhassa Homage to the Blessed Teacher, the Arahant, the perfectly all-awakened Buddha. Buddhang Saranangga Chami Dhammang Saranangga Chami Sanghang Saranangga Chami I go to the Buddha as a refuge. I go to the Dhamma as a refuge. I go to the Sangha as a refuge. Dutiyampi Buddhang Saranangga Chami Dutiyampi Dhammang Saranangga Chami Dutiyampi Sanghang Saranangga Chami I, for a second time, I go to the Buddha as a refuge. For a second time, I go to the Dhamma as a refuge. For a second time, I go to the Sangha as a refuge. Tatiyampi Buddhang Saranangga Chami Tatiyampi Dhammang Saranangga Chami Tatiyampi Sanghang Saranangga Chami For a third time, I go to the Buddha as a refuge. For a third time, I go to the Dhamma as a refuge. And for a third time, I go to the Sangha as a refuge. Now the five virtues. Bhānāti pāta ve ramani sikha padang samādhyāmi I undertake the practice to refrain from hurting living beings on purpose. Adina dhāna ve ramani sikha padang samādhyāmi I undertake the practice to refrain from taking what is not given. Kame sumi chachara ve ramani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from sexual misconduct. Musa wada ve ramani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from false speech. Sura Meraya Madhya Pamma Dathana Veramani Sikha Padang Samadhyami I undertake the practice to refrain from mind-altering substances. Vikala Bhojana Veramani Sikha Padang Samadhyami I undertake the practice to refrain from eating at improper times. Natchagita vadita visukha dasana malagandha vilepana dharana mandana vibhusanathana veramani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from dancing, singing, listening to music seeing entertainment shows, wearing necklaces, perfumes, and beautifying the body with cosmetics. Ucha sayana maha sayana ve ramani sikha padang samadhyami I undertake the practice to refrain from high and luxurious beds and seats. Silena sugatinyanti, silena bhoga sampada, silena nibutinyanti, tasama sila visodaye. By virtue, a good life is obtained. By virtue, spiritual wealth comes to be. By virtue, one is liberated. This virtue is to be perfected. Sad. Now, the qualities. 
Itipi so bhagava araham samma sambuddho Vija charana sambhanno sugato loka vidu Anuttaro puri sadhamma sarati Satta deva manusanang buddho bhagavati Swakato bhagavata dhammo sandit Tiko akaliko, ehi pasiko, opanaiko, pachatang with it tabo when you heat Supati panno bagawato sa wakasango, uju pati panno bagawato sa wakasango, nyaya pati panno bagawato sa wakasango. Sami chipati panno bagawato sahawaka sango Yadi rang chattari purisa yugani yatta purisa pugala Esa bagawato sahawaka sango Ahuneyo pahuneyo dakineyo angelikaraneyo Enute rang punya ke tang lokasati The Exalted One is an Arahant, perfectly all-awakened Buddha, endowed with righteous knowledge and conduct, auspicious knower of the worlds, unsurpassed guide for those who seek self-mastery, teacher of devas and humans, awakened and blessed. Well explained is the Blessed One's teaching, directly visible, immediate, inviting, leading upwards to be experienced by the wise for oneself. Good is the practice of the awakened one's Sangha. Straight is the practice of the awakened one's Sangha. Wise is the practice of the awakened one's Sangha. Meaningful is the practice of the awakened one's Sangha. That is, the four pairs of people, the eight kinds of persons. The Sangha of the Awakened One is worthy of offerings, worthy of welcomes, worthy of generosity and respect, an unsurpassed field of goodness for the universe. And now some verses from the Dhammapada. Mano Puban Gamma Dhamma Mano Sitta Mano Maya Manasacha Padutena Basati Wa Karoti Wa Tatonang Dukhang Anweti Chakang Wa Wahato Padang Mind precedes all things. All are governed by the mind, created by the mind. If with an unwholesome mind a person speaks or acts, trouble follows along as the wheel dried by, dragged by the foot. Mano pubban gamma dhamma mano sattha mano maya manasacha pasannena bhasati wa garuti wa tatonang sukhang anweti chaya wa anapayini Mind precedes all things, all are governed by the mind, created by the mind. If with a wholesome mind a person speaks or acts, happiness follows along, like one's own shadow. Nahi virana virani samantira kurachanam avaranacha samanti Esa dhammo sanantano. Never is anger appeased by anger. Only by non anger is it appeased. This is an eternal law. Idha modati pecha modati. Katapunyo hubhayatta modati. So modati, so pa modati. Diswa vikamma visuding attano. In this world and the next, one rejoices. The doer of good rejoices in both worlds. One rejoices, one delights. 
seeing the brightness of one's own actions. Punyante puriso gaira, gaira te tang punam punam, tamhi chandang gaira ta, sukho punyasa uchayo. Should a person do good deeds, let one do it over and over again. Let one be wholly devoted to it. For blissful is the accumulation of goodness. Ma pamanye ta punyasa namang tangagamisati udabindu ni panet pate na udakumbo pipurati diro purati punyasa tokang tokang biachinang do not belittle goodness thinking it will never come to me. With each drop of water the jar gets filled. The wise gets filled with wisdom, gathering it little by little. Sabhapasa karanang kusalasa upasampada sajitta pariyodapanang ittang buddhana sasanang Abandoning what is unwholesome and cultivating what is wholesome and elevating one's mind. This is the teaching of the Buddhas. Kanti paramang tapotitika Nibbanang paramang vadanti buddha Nahi pabajito parupagati Samanohuti parang vihetayanto Patience and acceptance are the highest sacrifice. Nibbana is highest, say the Buddhas. One is no spiritual person who strikes another. One is no monk who oppresses others. Anupavado anupagato Patimokke cha sangwaro Matanyuta cha bhatasaming Pantancha sayanasanang Adichi te cha ayogo Etang buddhana sasanang Not looking to blame, not looking to hurt Self mastered by the guidelines of the Patimokka Knowing the right amount of food Living alone and being devoted to the higher mind This is the teaching of the Buddhas Susukang vata jiwama yi sang no nati kinchanang piti bhakang bawi sama deva abasarayatta. Surely we are living in bliss, we who have nothing. Feeders on joy we shall be, like the devas of streaming radiance. Metta viharyo bhikkhu pasanno buddha sasane adhigache padang santang sankharu pasamang sukkhang One who lives in boundless love, who is confident in the Buddha's teaching, accomplished, one walks at peace, experiencing the happiness of stilling the tension. So this morning is a little story, well, a little episode from the Vinaya for a change. And this is about this very noble and wise lady called Visaka, which was a very devout a uh, lady who was very wise and clever and known to be so. She was known as Megara's mother 
there's quite a story that goes along with this, but she, Migara, his, her father-in-law, was her father-in-law, the father of the man whom she married. And um, they had a bit of a hard time at the beginning getting along because Migara was... Um, Visaka had met the Buddha when she was very young and she became a stream enterer, a Sotapanna, very, very young when the Buddha came, came to her, her house and her family. And she had been um, following close since then. And uh, Migara was not uh, so... Uh, was not a, a follower of the Buddha, nor uh, nor did he want to. But uh, through Visaka's cleverness, uh, she made him realize how um, the magnificence of this uh, teaching. And so, long story short, at the end. He was so very impressed by her cleverness that he said that from now on he would call her his mother. <laughs> so Visaka is Migara's mother, <laughs> her, her father-in-law. And so here the Buddha goes through uh, Visaka's town and she of course she invites him and the entire Sangha to come to for a meal at her place and she asks the Buddha for eight requests eight boons and this is what this little section of the Vinaya is about and so she goes Bhante I ask eight boons of the teacher Visaka, truth finders are beyond granting boons. <laughs> so she's, it's like uh, asking a favor from the Buddha. And the Buddha's like, well. <laughs> Bhante, they are those which are allowable and those which are blameless. Speak on, Visaka. I, Bhante, want to give for life to the order. Close cloth for the rains, to give food for those coming in, to give food for those going out, to give food for the sick, to give food for those who tend the sick, to give medicine for the sick, to give a constant supply of kanji, to give bathing cloth for the order of nuns. But having what special reason in mind do you, Visaka, ask the truth finder for these eight boons? Now I, Bhante, ask this helper lady of mine, saying, Go now, having gone to the monastery, announce the time, saying, Bhante, it is time the meal is ready. But then, Bhante, this servant of mine, having gone to the monastery, saw the monks their robes laid aside, letting their bodies get wet with the rain. Seeing them, she thought, There are no monks in this monastery. Naked ascetics are letting their bodies get wet with the rain. She approached me having a, she approached me and she said, Lady, there are no monks at the monastery, only naked ascetics. I, Bhante, having this special reason in mind, want to give for life to the order cloth for the rains. And again, Bhante, an incoming monk, not accustomed to the roads, not accustomed to the resort for alms, who is still walking for alms when he is tired, 
But having eaten my food for those coming in, then when he is accustomed to the roads, accustomed to the resort for alms, he will walk for alms without getting tired. I, Bhante, having this special reason in mind, want to give for life to the order, food for those coming in. So this is quite, this is something that happens when you're a monk, is that um, when you arrive in a new place, there's, you, there's no way uh, to know <laughs> <laughs> where where your uh, food will be gathered so a person can walk for a very long time <laughs> and so she wants to make sure that the anybody any monk that would come in could uh, get uh, enough uh, food until at least they're accustomed to this new place they know a little bit more and uh, here that would be uh, compared to a food bank. <laughs> and again, Bhante, an outgoing monk, while looking about for food for himself, may be left behind by the caravan, or if he set out tired on a journey, he may arrive, he may arrive at the wrong time at the habitation to which he wishes to go. But having eaten my food for those going out, he will not be left behind by the caravan, nor will he set out tired on a journey, and so he will arrive at the right time at the habitation to which he wishes to go. I, Bhante, having this special reason in mind, want to give for life to the order food for those going out. So this would be... Um, Now it's more uh, like not missing the bus and being stu uh, stuck in the gas station, for example. So, and monks always have to eat before um, noon, so this makes things a little bit more tricky. And again, Bhante, if a monk who is ill does not obtain suitable meals, Either his disease will grow very much worse, or he will pass away. And when he has eaten my food for the sick, the disease will not grow very much worse, and he will not pass away. I, Bhante, having this special reason in mind, want to give for life to the order food for those who are sick. Again, Bhante, a monk who tends the sick, Looking about for food for himself will bring back food for the sick after the sun is right up, or he will miss his own meal. But having eaten my food for those who tend the sick, he will bring back food for the sick during the right time, and he will not miss his meal. I, Bhante, having this special reason in mind, want to give for life to the order food for those who tend the sick. And again, Bhante, if a monk who is ill does not obtain suitable medicines, either his disease will grow very much worse or he will pass away. When he has made use of my medicines for the sick, the disease will not grow worse and he will not pass away. I, Bhante, having this special reason in mind, want to give for, the, for life to the order medicines for the sick. Again, Bhante, Kanji was allowed by, by the teacher at Andakawinda when he had its ten advantages in mind. I, Bhante, having this special reason in mind, want to give for life to the order a constant supply of Kanji. This is one of the things that uh, monks do sometimes before alms. Is, which is allowed was kanji, having a bowl of kanji. There was a case where nuns bathed naked together with other women at the same ford at the river Achirawati. Bhante, these women made fun of the nuns, saying, Why in the world, ladies, 
Are you living this spiritual life like this when you are so young? Surely the pleasures of the senses should be enjoyed. When you become old, then you can live the spiritual life. Thus, both extremes will be experienced by you. Bhante, these nuns being made fun of, became ashamed. I, Bhante, having this special reason in mind, want to give for life bathing clothes, bathing cloth for the order of nuns. But having what advantage in mind do you, Visaka, ask the truth finder for eight boons? Now, Bhante, monks who have passed the rains in various places will come to Sawati, the town she lives in, so as to see the teacher, the awakened one. Having approach, approached him, they will ask, Bhante, such and such a monk has passed away. What is his born? What is his future state? Then the Buddha will explain this saying, It is the fruit of stream entry, or it is the fruit of once returning, or it is the fruit of non-returning, or it is the fruit of perfection. I, having approached these, will ask, Honored Sirs, was Sawati previously visited by this Master? If they say to me, Sawati was previously visited by this monk, I shall come to the conclusion that undoubtedly cloth for the rain or food for those coming in, food for those going out, or food for the sick, or food for those who tend the sick, or medicines for the sick, or constant supply of kanji, what was enjoyed by this master. On my calling that to mind, gladness will be born. With gladness, joy will, joy will arise. Because my mind will be joyful, my body will become calm. With the calm body I will experience ease. Because I am at ease, my mind will be contemplative, collected. This will be for me growth as to the sense faculties, the mental faculties. Growth as to the mental powers. Growth as to the seven supports of awakening. I, Bhante, having this special advantage in mind, am asking the truth finder for these eight boons. It is very good, Visaka. It is very good that you, Visaka, having this advantage in mind, are asking the truth finder for these eight boons. I allow you, Visaka, the eight boons. Then the awakened one said these verses. Whatever woman much delighted, endowed with virtue, a student of the welfarer, food and drink gives, having overcome selfishness. The gift is heavenly, dispelling sorrow, bringing happiness and she gains a deva-like lifespan, owing to the spotless, stainless way. She, desiring merit, at ease, healthy, delights long in heavenly company. Of course, this works with anybody, men, women, and I thought I would offer this little sequence of the Vinaya this morning on the power of generosity and how it directly correlates with our practice and it's not separate. And when we continue our lives 
this is one of the things that we can do to continue the practice in this physical plane of existence, this physical world, which helps and purify the mind and uplift the mind. Like this wise Visaka. So on this, I wish you a very good day, very good meditation. Be happy.